yesterday two thugs and criminals went into a mosque in Eccles in Greater Manchester and began to physically and verbally attack innocent Muslims who were praying. Today on various news channels and, and through the media I've been laying the responsibility, the ultimate responsibility for this crime at the feet of politicians. The politicians are responsible for should be held responsible for their daily attacks we've seen over the past few weeks on the way Muslims in this country practice our faith. I think it's absolutely scandalous that the politicians don't tell women how to dress on a Friday night um, when they're half naked but then feel it's okay to tell Muslim women not to wear the veil. I think the veil isn't compulsory in my faith and I think there is a difference of opinion on this amongst the scholars. Some scholars say it is compulsory, others say it isn't. But I believe in Britain we have something which is unique, and that's freedom of choice. Those people in this country should, um, that choose to wear the veil should be free in a democratic and prosperous country to do just that. I think it's wrong that politicians are using this as an excuse to tarnish Muslims or tarnish any particular faith. Britain has a, a huge role to play in the international stage where peaceful coexistence in a multicultural multi-faith society has to be the norm and we've spent many years here across the UK trying to build those bridges. Jack Straw made them comments about the veil. We saw a feeding frenzy from politicians who were all lining up to say that Jack Straw was right and, and that the veil was a mark of separation and Muslims were weren't doing enough to tackle extremism, weren't doing enough to tackle terrorism, weren't doing en enough uh, to integrate. And it was just constant barrage that created an environment where people on the far right, and the BMP, the, those people on the right, have tarnished, have been given that responsibility about making a real difference. I want to say absolutely clearly that Britain can be a multicultural and multi-faith society if we all equally play our part. We can't have one rule for one people and another rule for another people. Equality in the law and all of us working towards the ultimate goal, which is diversity, respect and tolerance. And I hope the government ministers wake up to the reality that if they don't stop these daily attacks against our faith, then we are going to see numerous more attacks, as we saw sadly on, um, on Sunday in Eccles. Thank you very much.